USNG, once it's done correctly, it just sits like this. And it's not going to run unless you give it a push. Then the reactions take place. And, and we can simulate that with this. So we'll go, we'll go ahead and just give it a little tap. And you did it in the opposite direction, and it still went into the. Uh... John said it was pretty much. Well, you can flip it around and do the reaction. It's all relevant. Hmm. No, I mean, you, you pushed it in this direction, but it went back in that oh, direction, because that was the way the... It's designed to go in one direction. Why counterclockwise? Well, I could go the other way, too. It's just that it's designed to trigger yeah. and rotate. Yeah. Yeah. I could do this before I could test it, but... What I is that I, I was able to impress the magnetic waveforms, just like the man said, even though I never heard about it, there's no books on it or anything. It was just trial and error. When I first started noticing something, it was very small variations, and I didn't know if it was real or accidental. But uh, after a while, you know, yeah, I could give it uh, quite a waveform. So we know that that part of it is exists, it's repeatable, we, we can demonstrate it. So you see a lot of these things coming together, working together, just like the man said. Can you slow it down even more? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, come on. Look at that. It's like a, sa a serpent's tail. Yeah, that represents electromagnetic dynamics, which has, um, which has, you know, interactions. And do this, and then can you hold this one up too? Okay, so we got that one. We got that one now. That is the weirdest thing. I'm gonna have to put an audio over if I ever upload this. It's I'm freaking out here. Look at this. That was... Come on. Oh my god. There it is, right there. Yes. Congratulations, you're the first one to capture that uh, visual. That's really... It's like Northern Lights. It's not extreme like the other one, but it does an actual impression with a, a few degrees of angle. You'll notice that there's a little bit of a wave and the, the compass are waving a little bit. Oh, that's, I do see that. That's the effect. I just do not understand how other people cannot see the significance in something like that. That is beyond me. That is so special. So that is what you're capturing on the oscilloscope when you... So this is a Gauss meter. Correct. How does it take, how does it measure uh, through this stick? What is that? It's a gas meter probe. And how does it, uh, how it does it? It measures the flux, puts the signal into the gas meter. The analog output go, goes into a digital scope. Now I gotta set up the scope to pick up the signal there. You'll see that there's a waveform. I guess it's, it's just too sophisticated for something that's supposed to be simple. Because it looks simple, but it's not. And all of the steps necessary to uh, make it are extensive. It's not as, in the precision as high. Uh, it's, it's like a, it's technology of the future. You know, it's a different way of doing things. And uh, I wonder how many alternate paths there's going to be.